Okay, so looks like we're playing undead. Okay, so I've been picking everything with the spinner. For some reason, I can't seem to get the um, the audio source to work with my mic in that scene. And we don't got time for this because we're playing against somebody that it's 11 p.m. for him. So thanks for letting me go in after work. We're just gonna. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, so. That's a pretty good hand. I gotta decide whether I wanna get rid of the Shambler or the Ripper, probably. Fees. Growth, definitely get rid of the Shambler. Energy, probably get rid of the Ripper. Decay. Um, I like to live on the edge. No, I don't know if he's playing Undead or Poison. If he's Poison, they're both kind of screwed anyway. I guess this is slightly better. It looks like he's either playing Poison. Eh, it could be anything still. Probably shouldn't try to find, come up with a conclusion from that. Um, I think we do this. I like pack husks. They're nice. And this threatens the whole board, unless he kills it, of course. So I guess there's a case to be made for instead playing. I should probably play the Slayer Vestige here so I can run away if I want to. Um... Who all is watching? Alright. Nice. I think that's just been be watching. He just played his game against, uh, oh god, I forget who else. I think Rod Eaters, right? He just played against somebody else. Who did he just play against? Let me check. Oh, he played against Zellerek. So, they're both watching now. Um, we'll see how this goes. A Restless Bones would be pretty good right here. Honestly, I can't really play around the Restless Bones because of the Shambler. Um, it's some kind of undead. Well, I mean, all of these are cards that people run in non-undead decks. Um, but I think he's got a lot of board control for now. He might kill something, so the Harvester seems like a good addition to the pack. And when you get that, like this, this deck is similar to Temple Order, right? We want like four or five resources. When you get six, I mean, Decay has some of the best three drops in the game. So one of them's gonna die. That's what the Harvester's for. We can block with the Pack Husk, and I, I think that's that's pretty all right. Okay. So we know what kind of deck this is. This is Undead. And I'm the only one that plays late game Undead. So that makes it pretty straightforward. Oh! Oh wait, I'm dumb. For some reason I thought he had to move it. He did not have to move that. Um, cool! Oh, that's such a great draw. Yeah. So we'll kill this. And then next turn we'll Soul Steal and Sanctuary the Lost. That's not the worst thing to get it. Um, it'll, he would grow big. That's fine. Yeah, we can deal with the languid. Interesting, he runs those, though. I guess most people run languid, I think. It is a really good card, it just feels like running Kabonk in tempo order. People used to do it, but, like, it's not. Okay, he has, no. That would be a really bad play if he had Restless Bones. I feel like Restless Bones here is not a good life decision. Okay, yeah, I think we stick with what we got. Yeah, I think... Oh, I'm stupid. I should have sacked for resources. Well, that's okay. I don't think that's a huge deal. So if we stand where we are... I think I can stay still. I 
think we can stay where we are. Um, if I move forward, he doesn't have a way to just kill this um, unless he has a Restless Bones. If he has a Restless Bones and we move up, then we're okay, but we don't have a way to punish it. So the Restless Bones could be a problem. The one thing is, if he does Restless Bones... Well, if he has Restless Bones Revenant, but he's only got one card in hand, so I think we're okay. This is actually going to be at one countdown, so a Restless Bones can wipe this whole lane, which means that we should run away. Because I, if I were him, I would hold on to that Restless Bones, and I know what's going to happen there. I think next turn we pop a Harvester down and actually Sanctuary. He seems to be ramping up really well. I guess he does have more cantrips than me. I just don't want to lose this, this whole lane. This whole lane is the game. So. Uh oh Okay, maybe just Undead focused. Uh, or he was, he was playing me like a fiddle. Ah. Ah. Mm. Okay. Oof. If I want to, I can roll the dice. But I think saving the Restless Bones for next turn... Did I walk that back already? No. I think saving the Restless Bones for next turn is a good call. I think another good idea is Harvester here and hedge my bets. Because a lot of things are attacking next turn if I place this. And then Irva can do like a million billion damage. So that could be good. Yeah, so then we have the Irva go down. Irva's going to do at least... I mean, yeah, if Restless Bones, then I guess Irva doesn't get to attack. Um, if I get this middle idol, I'm, I'm sitting pretty. Oh, yeah, don't leave that there. Come on, just, it's okay. You don't have to worry about it. I'm not going to hurt it. I would never. No, that's fine. You don't need to touch that. Yeah, I guess it's like Undead Focused. I really need to not worry about that too much. It's it doesn't matter to be blunt. Okay, cool. So I don't I feel like this is the Irva turn. We can restless bones, but it only gets this right here. I think a better play would be to get rid of the blade husk because I want that idle damage soon. I can tell, like, I, I've got this center idle looking good. Um, I don't know. This could be the oh, this is the re this is the restless bones turn because we have this play. We can go here. We can kill the witch doctor. Um, because we can go here, here, Revenant, Restless Bones, and that gives us the center idol, and then it also gives us this guy next turn. Um, this is gonna pop, and then the Shambler, our best friend's gonna attack. So, that is good. I'm pretty happy with that one. He's probably going to step down to kill this guy, which sucks, but I think that that this a harvester for a witch doctor is a that's a good trade. And then Oh boy. <laughs> Too bad I don't run on bind. Um I kind of want to just I, I could move down. And it's kind of interesting, because that would actually save the Rod Eater. But, again, I think we actually just get rid of this. And let's just, like, go for the idols that he doesn't have any more presence at. Um, 
I'm not really too worried about that. Maybe put you here so that way if he does kill things, I can threaten stuff. Yeah, that one's going down. So, he's got that. The Reaping Mask is going to make me nervous because Reaping Mask is such a good card. Um, well, not a good card, but once it's on the board, it's a good card. So, we'll see how that works. But next up, we have. Okay, so he's moving down. That's honestly pretty good for me. I. Though in retrospect, I don't know. Like, yeah, a perfect place to have the body eater would be here, but that's that's not how these things work. Um, oh, sick! I should be able to kill here, kill the harvester. So harvester's dead. Pat Cusk is gonna go here. This guy goes here. He's gonna curse him, and he's gonna die next turn. So that sucks. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think they get rid of you. Okay, so. One more resource yet again. Okay. I've got two choices. I can either get the Rod Eater down. I haven't drawn a Soul Steel yet. Normally I wouldn't do this. This feels risky, but... I'm in kind of like the last little bits of the game. I don't got a soul steal. Ah, I should have gotten you here. That was a slight misplay. Not the end of the world, but that's a 4-4 versus a 3-3. So if I'm a damage short, it's my fault. Um, everything else I think was good. So yeah, I can soul steal you. He also has Necrogen. I need to start thinking about that card too. This doesn't feel like the kind of deck that runs Restless Bones. I don't think I should play around that. I thought this was Undead earlier. Okay. Yeah, could have killed it, but... I think that's okay. I think we're actually doing pretty good. Well, not amazing, but you know, we're okay. We have hope. Curse presence into, I think I need to sack for resources. I can't get rid of the darklings now. Definitely curse presence. You oh shit. Oh no. Oh, I just did myself dirty. I can't read. Oh, and I don't have enough health to put there either. Ooh, that's really bad. There's no way he doesn't have a way to kill my things. Um. Ah. Okay. How do we want to do this? Ugh. I wish I could count. Probably Anima Conduit back here. I think I think that's it. He doesn't know I don't have a Restless Bones in hand. I wish I could Curse Presence. I need to kick out this idol, and I already moved everybody before I saw that that Harvester only had one. So, that way I get two. I don't quite proc the Harvester. So there's still some chances. And then I think we hoard revenants and pray that we get one. Or we get two and snipe that bottom idol. Ah, crap, that was really bad. I mean, to be fair, I was kind of squished, but... Yeah, I should have sacked for resources earlier. I was needing five for a while. There were a couple of plays where I would have had way more value. So let's see how this goes. Maybe 
yeah. I mean, honestly, uh, if he didn't have, if this was like here, I think he could even have lethal with the Necro again. Nuru's coming down probably. Kill these two next turn. Oh, not anymore. We cannot kill these two anymore. So. Everybody's big and scary, and I don't like it. So how do we deal with this? You need to stay here. I feel like we need to move, change our focus downwards. I definitely want two damage here, but from what? I mean, this also defends that idol. I think we do this. You go here, that way he's got to pick what to kill. And also our revenants have somewhere to spawn. <sighs> yeah. Oh no! I suck at games! I forgot that they move. So he's going to go here, and that's going to be another idle down. Or he's going to go down the middle, which might even be better for me. I've only ha I only have I've only used one restless bone, so we still have an explosion. Um, corpse theft. Okay, that's not good. That's really not good. Okay, I've already s played one revenant though, so unfortunately I can't deal that much damage out of my back pocket. I was playing around it too hard. I should have just taken the hit earlier. So 4-5, dead, dead, dead. Very dead. Is there a way to kill one of my things? You definitely have to kill this. Nero needs to die regardless, I think. Um... I mean, there's a lot of things that can kill me here. I just need to be okay with that because there's not really a way around it. Um, so I just have to hope. And I'm gonna just hoard all of these. And if the top deck gods are with me, then they are. If they're not, then they're not. They're not. <laughs> and that's okay yeah I think I misplayed a little bit earlier um, just with my uh, resource sacrificing at some point um, so it was good that was close I could have gotten that but I was, I was well played by him so we will see what we do in round two